Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics, channel with great and interesting challenges every day. And today we have a really interesting and great challenge, we have a divided by a divided by 8 and divided by 8. On the first side this is like the easiest question you've ever seen, because this is not like a hard question, a complicated question, we use with less squares, cubes right here with square roots, sine, cosine, we have all like a regular expression right here, we have only division, we have only 8 right here, which is, which is really great. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, because a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video and right now I suggest you to choose to check your option, what do you think is the correct answer to this question, we have A, B and C, choose one option, what do you think is the correct and write your option down into the comment section, I swear you will be a little bit shocked about this about this answer. Okay, so choose an option what do you think is a correct and right now let's try to solve it. First of all I want to start with this solution. Right here we have 8 divided by 8 divided by 8 and divided by 8. Okay, here's our question right here and one part of students solve it like that. They say okay from left to right, okay, as we learned before, right here from left to right we have 8 divided by 8 which is equal to 1 and right here we have the same division on the right hand side, on the left hand side 8, 8 and right here we have 8 and 8, so right here we have the same one, yeah, we have 8 divided by 8 which is equal to, which is equal to 1. And with this division in the middle, so we have 1 divided by 1 equal to equal to 1, yeah? And option option C, yeah, we have this option C. So one part of students solve this question like that, they say that this is a correct solution. I don't want to say that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in math we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we cannot jump from left to right, we cannot do whatever we want, we cannot do like chaotically these things right here. In math we need to know what is one and only one correct order of operation, and one and only one solution, we cannot solve this question like in two options, yeah, we cannot uh, write that this is equal to 1 and 8 for example, I don't know exactly, yeah, so we cannot do this like that, so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, and I want to leave this solution right here, and I want you to understand that we need to know for example this PMDMC order of operation, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, and let's solve this question according to PMDMC, let's check with this option 1, which is maybe correct or not correct, I don't know exactly, but let's solve this question according to to PMDMC and let's check with this option 1, ok? Let's, let's, let's do this. So here is our question, so we have 8 divided by 8, divided by 8 and divided by 8, ok? <laughs> Here's our question, and right now let's look at it. So we, right here we have all division sign, and let's go through the steps right here real quick. So the first step according to PMDMC, because PMDMC this is the order of operation in mass, so this is like order of operation. All know about this order, and let's solve this question according to PMDMC. So the first step according to PMDMC is uh, parentheses. Let's look at it. As I told before, we don't have any parentheses in our expression. We don't have any parentheses right here, right here, everywhere. We don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have it, and it's it's, it's really great. The next step, exponents, what about exponents, maybe cubes, maybe squares right here, I don't, as I told before we don't have any powers, we don't have any exponents, so we just skip this part as well. So as you can see we just, we already skipped these two part, parentheses and exponent, which is, which is really great. So let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. A lot of students do this mistake, they say okay multiplication, now we need to multiply it first, but we need to find multiplication and division sign, yeah? Let's look at it, where do we have multiplication and division sign? Right here we have division sign, right here we have division sign and in the last step we have division sign as well. So we don't have multiplication sign, we have only division signs. So this is our first step to solve this problem. And I want to say that we don't have any addition and subtraction sign, we can easily reject this step which is brilliant because we don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, addition and subtraction, we don't have any of these steps, we have only division. But what is the correct order according to PMDMC? What is the correct order to do this question? So in, P in PMDMC correct order is from left to right, so we need to look at it in a perspective from left to right, so left to right, this is a correct order to do this question, so from left to right. And let's look at it, what is the first sign from left to right? Let's look at it, 3 is 3 division sign, what is the first sign from left to right? Of course the division sign is first from left to right. So we have 8 divided by 8 which is equal to 1, so this is our first step, 8 divided by 8 equal to 1. And right now as you can see this is absolutely the same step as I told before right here. So right here we have absolutely the same uh, first step, but right now we rewrite this expression, so we still have this 8 divided by 8, divided by 8, divided by 8, we still have this, and before we divided 8 divided by 8. 
which is absolutely not the same as right here, because right now we still have this division group once more, all the time we have division sign, and the first sign from left to right, right here in the second step, is this division. This is not this division, this is the first uh, division sign from right to left. But right here, this is the first sign from left to right, so we have 1 over 8, yeah, we have 1 divided by 8, which is equal to 1 over 8, and with this division by 8 right here, which is equal to 1 over, looks like 64, yeah, so 1 over over 64. And as you can see, really interesting answer, right here we have option A, 1 over 64, which is, of course, this is a correct answer. And why this is correct? Because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. This is a chaotic solution, we just solve this problem whatever we want, we just solve this problem in an easy way, divide right here, divide right here, and one with, with this option, and we go to the next test. This is absolutely wrong solution, of course, with parentheses, it will be correct solution, because right now we need to start from this parentheses, right here one, right here one, yeah, with one, this is correct solution, with parentheses, this is correct solution, because we need to start from this parentheses, this is our first step, so we need to parentheses, parentheses, then division. This is correct with parentheses, but in our case we don't have any parentheses, so this is a very huge mistake. And one, this is absolutely wrong solution, eight is uh, also wrong solution, but according to PMDMC we find our answer, this is option, option A is a correct answer to this to this question. I hope you understand my thought about it, I wish you all the best in your adventures, I hope you learned something new, and have a great day!